Hello dear chess friends and welcome to our new video. In that video I'll present uh, one game from uh, first uh, league of uh, Serbia played in uh, 2015 between Milan Zajic, Serbian Grandmaster and Bulgarian Grandmaster Vladimir Petkov. Uh, very interesting game uh, to balance players who prefer uh, positional chess but uh, you'll see still that in some moment black player uh, made some careless advance of his pawns and you could see you will see that uh, white managed to punish that uh, let's start with the game e4 e5 and after knight f3 knight c6 bishop b5 black aimed for berlin after played knight f6 White decided to play d3, peaceful continuation. And the point will be on patient maneuvering, where after bishop c5 we will get some conchers of uh, Gioco Pianissimo, actually, where bishop on b5 is not significant difference. Uh, anyway, that bishop can be easily transferred to b3 or c2, as you'll see. After d6, casting, casting a knight bd2, both players patiently finish their developments and after bishop d7 why decided to play h3 i don't like that move because uh i know bishop may go to g4 but black already decided to set bishop on d7 and uh, i think white should go for something more calm more normal maybe with uh, bishop a4 maybe rook e1 something like this h3 somehow doesn't make sense for me because black already decided to put his bishop on d7 okay a6 bishop a4 bishop a7 rook e1 typical idea of knight f1 knight g3 can be implemented here now we see that maybe white wanted with h3 to prevent black move knight g4 targeting pawn f2 knight e7 and now there is crossroad, white can take the bishop, hoping to prove his bishop c1 would be better than opening bishop a7 uh, in potentially a rising endgame because of fixed pawns on e4 and d5. But generally, white bishop is very important piece, light square bishop, and that's why he put it on c2. Maybe later then bishop will go to b3, but in this moment, that bishop is needed on c2 to strengthen punct e4 and to prepare d4. After knight g6, knight f1, rook e8, knight g3, everything is more or less normal. Black played h6, preventing some uh, <coughs> moves, annoying moves, potentially annoying moves like bishop g5. And finally, after fully preparing, after fully preparing that advance, white went for d4 what can I say uh position is pretty balanced there is nothing special uh happens in that moment black played bishop c6 well rook e8 now acts as submarine against pawn e4 and that's why black wanted to put additional pressure on that pawn with bishop c6 bishop e3 if black takes on d4 white prepare taking with the bishop and that happened and that is first key moment of the game maybe uh the most important moment in the game black played b5 i really uh dislike that move but because i think that move will bring nothing to black uh white bishop is not on a4 uh, black uh doesn't uh need to get control over square c4 because that square cannot be temporarily used by white pieces so in that moment, b5 is absolutely uh, senseless, pointless move and uh, gives white uh, impulse with played move a4 to strike on the queen side, which will give him long-term initiative. b a4 and now very important intermediate move bishop a7, forcing opponent rook to get bad spot on a7 and again in important move knight d4 
that knight is better on d4 than on f3 and before white plays bishop a4 for instance is you can see that uh, <coughs> variation is not as good for white as variation may occur as position may occur after knight d4 bishop d7 and now this and after taking white has extra move done that is knight to d4 which controls very important neuralgic spots c6 and f5 but after bishop h4 but bishop a4 black allowed one more mistake c5 very strange move uh of course knight on d4 looks good but that knight on f5 will be even more solid because that knight attacks two very important points d6 and g7 c5 and here to be fair knight c6 would be also a good move to get uh opponent bishop bishop will be better than opponent knight in that position and uh, so many weak light squares in black camp may be controlled by white bishop anyway white played knight df5 d5 that was black's idea but as you can see after some forced series of moves black will stay with uh damaged pawn structure on the queen side i'm talking about pawns a6 and c5 which are separated isolated and uh, it may look however black has a rich play his pieces are relatively active but still white has enough activity to prove uh black damage pawn structures is very significant factor in that position rook d1 queen b3 was played uh queen a6 will lead to new harming of black pawn structure that cannot satisfy black simply so many pawn islands are on the board but after rook d1 queen b3 rook d8 king h7 finally white found beautiful beautiful move that is knight g7 maybe i should pause the video to suggest you to find that move but okay let's discover what will happen if black captures well, just knight takes f5, king h7, queen e3, and after that looks like black is just lost. He can prevent mate by only playing f6. Queen d1 is not significant check. But now, as you can see, that is very nice winning variation. You can see how knight f5 is very important. As you can see, statement of great gary kasparov that knight on f5 is practically half of a win uh is uh, justified here but not only one knight white two knights will get access to f5 as you can see in that variation one knight was on f5 and after sacrifice another knight jumps with a beautiful winning move. let's go back Black answer with rook d7, threatening rook d1, forcing exchange. But now white chooses wrong move order. He plays queen d2. Simplest was knight 7 to f5, where white prepares attacking h6 with queen d2 or queen e3, which must be winning. Queen d2. As we can see, white had idea to defend pawn b2, but now things gets complicated because after king g7 very important resource black has in that position knight h5 king g8 uh here knight f5 will give nothing because after that let's say black has uh, something like this queen b2 threatening queen b1 and it will be complicated so after king g7 knight h5 now taking some beautiful variation goes like this queen f5 threatening queen f7 but queen b3 here would be better and no direct win would be on the horizon white would need help of more troops queen and knight cannot uh go for the win because after queen f6 there is queen d1 so let's say after f4 excellent move queen e6 queen c5 white still should be forced to show a good technique and accuracy in order to convert but instead of queen b3 black played king g8 and now queen f6 queen b1 
King H2, Queen B8, some forced moves. After F4, White still threatens the mate. Black must make his queen passive. And now after Queen A6, it is uh, easier to convert because com uh, in comparison to previous line, that is easier to convert. Let me show that after Queen B3, that is difficult to convert because pawn a6 may be some uh, counter factor let's say like this after queen a6 there is no uh, danger for white on the queen side and uh, there is no passed pawn on the a file so white can transfer all his troops toward damage opponent king side targeting many pawns and threatening some mates it should be winning for white queen e7 queen c8 Again, queen visits very important spot f5. And now knight goes to better position. White threats queen h5, but in that moment, I don't know if that was time trouble. That was move 41. I'm not sure what happened, but black blundered the pawn with h5 with gay white easy win after queen h5. Perhaps black wanted to take that pawn, but he missed that there is queen h6 double attack with an easy win however here instead of h5 uh black could maybe do some waiting move like i don't know king h7 queen h5 let me show you this we're still black defense uh tenaciously and white needs to show serious efforts to win the game maybe f5 in that position maybe defending with waiting who knows but still it looks like black will be forced to collapse sooner or later in the moment after h5 and queen h5 black just resigned my dear chess friends that would be all for that game what would be the conclusion advance carefully your pawns in your games i will just remind you about two important moments first important moment is black allowed mistake b5 nonsense played in uh, balanced position and after that another risky move was played that is move c5 forcing white to transfer knight to ultimately active spot on f5 so advance your moves carefully yes black prepared another advance d5 to liberate his position to get rid of a backward pawn but still three advances jet desperately harmed his pawn structure and as a result white was able to achieve winning position after knight g7 uh, thanks for watching our videos. Thanks for all your likes and dislikes as well. Uh, hope you can like our channel, uh, Chess Club, po uh, Chess Club Pobednik and, uh, hope you will enjoy even in the future with our videos. See you soon with new materials. Bye bye.